So anyway, let's take a look at the enclosure. Negi is is doing great, by the way. She um you'll notice that I I I flip between saying he and she, and it's because I honestly don't know um their gender. Um if anyone wants to give me any advice on sexing rough green snakes, I am all ears. But um yeah, but um Negi is he is he's been fine he's yeah just his normal sweet self and um you can probably see that the uh enclosure has changed a fair bit since i set it up it has been like over a year now since i made that video um <laughs> most of the plants that i planted on the um, ground level all died unfortunately you can kind of see the sorry remains of a fern back there but um, you can see that the philodendrons have just taken over um, we've still got some fake plants there just for finding some extra cover and um, yeah but it's it's that, that's all really filled in and provides like a really nice kind of environment for Negi to climb around in. Um, he's still there wondering why I'm standing here making loud noises. But yeah, I haven't really had any problems. The only thing that did happen was that um, we had. <laughs> Um, a plank of wood leaning up against the wall and it slipped and it just like just sliced through this mesh is a lot more fragile than it looks and it just sliced right through it so um, I kind of um, this is the hose for a fogging machine so as there was a hole there anyway I just kind of like glued that in so that I can like if Negi ever needs some extra humidity I can just um, have a fogger on as well as the dripper which is also doing a really good job you see all this like there's a bit of algae and kind of like calcium build up going on but um, yeah that's worked out really well that's still doing its thing um, and Negi does still kind of drink from the leaves and yeah I think he Normally he comes over to say hello, but of course, because I'm turning the camera on, he's being shy. Uh, so really, there isn't really a lot to say, but I thought you guys would just like to see how he's doing. I think Negi is something like five years old at this point, which is pretty crazy. There isn't a great deal of documentation on the lifespan of rough green snakes in captivity some people say around seven years but let's hope for many more than that Also a quick recap on feeding for those who have been asking. Um, I feed Negi a variety of bugs including uh, locusts, uh, crickets, uh, the occasional waxworm, wax moths uh, and silkworms. Um, I will give him a small meal once a day and by small I literally mean like one or two bugs. Um, and that seems to have been working out pretty well. I think that also helps a lot with um, quote unquote taming um, because you get that daily interaction with the snake and I think that that really helps and it's also just fun to interact with him because he's a cutie pie. Um, but yeah, and I also um, dust those insects with 
vitamins and calcium once a week and uh, sometimes sometimes I just let the insects loose in the enclosure other times I um, give him food on the tongs just kind of depends on what the food is and how he's feeling so that's really about all I can think of with regards to um, updates on Negi um, I hope you enjoyed the video i hope you find found it helpful in some way uh, as always please if you have any questions um feel free to leave a comment i will um get back to you pretty quickly also if there are any other ideas for videos of negi that you would like me to make feel free to uh, comment that as well um in the meantime that's um that's it from for me and Negi for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.